All right, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Spinatica. So, uh, with this uh, episode, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get a few different goals done. The main goal is going to be uh, our moon pool for our, um, what is it called? The f <laughs> I can't even think of the moth. Uh, sea moth. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to that's going to be the main po focus because we want that regeneration ability, you know, regener regenerability uh, for that particular device. Uh, next one uh, is going to be uh, the modification station. And then if we actually do have time, uh, we'll go ahead and do some maybe laser cutter wall. We do have the wall plants now, so we're going to jump ahead and uh, pick a plant to beautify so to speak and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much a lot of this is going to be I don't know if I cut out there for a minute but a lot of this is going to be um, pretty time intensive as in long uh, a long period of time uh, searching for these items and and acquiring them and such especially for some of the further items. A lot of this is going to be... I don't know if I cut out there for a minute, but a lot of this is going to be um, pretty time intensive, as in long, uh, a long period of time, uh, searching for these items and, and acquiring them and such, especially for some of the further items and some of the more dangerous areas. Uh, especially if we run into a lot of uh, death, <laughs> which uh, could be the case in some of these. Um, so, with that being said, uh, a lot of this might be cut down for time uh, for any recordings. Right. So we're loaded in here. Everything's taking a moment to sort of stabilize and load in. And I will note that there has been a recent update so we might end up finding some funky bugs or something. So, with this, let's go ahead and get the easy stuff out of the way. See if this is something I can craft, or craft in here. Actually, it's probably going to be in the build menu. Good old living wall. Just requires one titanium. That's not bad. I'm surprised it doesn't just require like some fiber mesh and that's it. Because the wall is kind of already there, so... And I'm hoping that it doesn't take away any durability of the surrounding area because we're getting kind of low so like I said before I kind of want to leave this one open but I am completely open with uh... there we go Ooh. take this off Okay, so that's the aquarium. So I'm guessing that's just going to be sort of decoration greenery. It's not going to be any particular plant. It's just going to be that as it is. And I didn't notice it saying that it was reducing any structure, so that's good. Some For me, it, I think it's silly that uh, the aquarium here would actually pose any issues with structure. If anything, it should have its own structural integrities, or maybe provide additional support, since it's a big, basically a giant column of water, an internal column for uh, the rest of the base. Who knows? All right. So I think that's that's all we need for now, for as far as greenery. It looks nice, right? So, let's go ahead and look at what our supplies are. I'm probably going to want to get another battery or power stuff set up. Which really makes me want one of those outside planter boxes. So that I can get these mushrooms growing. Because I feel like I'm destroying them making some batteries. But there's quite a few, so we're not too worried. Need two batteries per power cell. Just gonna take four mushrooms, two copper. I'm 
probably gonna have to start hunting for copper. Ooh, that's not what I want. <laughs> he doesn't have any copper in there. So two copper, that's like all the copper we have left. And no power. Gonna need some crude vine seeds anyway to make the synthetic fiber. Didn't think I had any of that. I'm pretty sure I have some in here. Because that was the point, right? All right, we'll go up to the pod for this, since our base seems to have power shoes at night. So we're looking for silicone, that's what I was talking about, silicone rubber. And a couple batteries. Power cell. All right. Water is okay. Could probably use that in a minute. Um, t -t 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 -t. What else do we need? We have our rebreather on. Could probably put a still suit on, but again, we need silver, I believe. So, silver is a hunting item as well. We should probably do. Go ahead and cook the boomerang. Cure the spade fish. Wow, that water dropped quick, didn't it? Eat the cooked boomerang, and we're good for now. Kind of want to pick up another water just in case. One of the minor ones. Oh, and a first aid kit. Eh, I can probably pick one up at the other pod. The location that we're going to be going to, is, or trying to go to, is the Great Reef, which is located in the south or southwest area. So our power looks like is already at about 54%, so good thing I'm bringing another piece. So I'm just going to kind of stop along the way, see if I can find some silver or, yeah, not what I wanted, but if it has copper, that's good. Potion ca cannon fragment. I think I already have this. Yeah, I don't know, I don't. Hmm. So these are the uh, sort of tunnels and everything that I was exploring last time off camera that led me to the Great Reese before, so I think we're on the right track. Go a little bit more south. Not what I needed. And all those are just regular scrap. Oh. I've lost myself. Should be right. Nope. Where the heck did my sea glide or sea, sea moth go? There it is. Going too much east. See how easy you can get turned around? Oh, oh. Loading. It's a hell of a pit down there. 
And that's where we're at. We're, we're already here. Ah, copper. Good. Mm, titanium. Alright. <coughs> so, as we did in the... Um, ooh. As we did in... The cave... So we'll do here is just use the Seamoth as sort of our bubble protection, etc. Looks like we already have something here. It's probably something I already have, but it's worth checking out. We have the rebreather on, so we do have uh, an extended breath at these lower pieces, or the lower areas. Ah, huh, something I needed. Pressure compensator. So that means Cyclops would be able to go deeper. Don't really need much of those right now, but... Oh! Come here. There we go. Gotta taste the local cuisine, right? Yep, yep. So, just gonna pop out for this one. Basalt junk. That was diamond. So we did need diamond for the laser cutter, I believe it is. Uh, just for those hard to reach areas of uh, wrecks that don't have an open top and such. So I am going to stop here since there's a lot of stuff in this general area. Mercury ore, it always looks like something else because the designs are so close to each other. Like more diamond, that's not a bad thing. Where's the other one? Is it just that stuff? That's probably just salt. Yep. We pretty much generate our own salt with that, uh, that machine back at home. Gold. It's funny how it makes that sound when you pick up gold as if it's some really big deal. It's like, uh, no. Can't think of anything off the top of my head that requires gold. Or diamond. But yeah, let's go ahead and shoot around and try to get some uh, other stuff exploration and some actual ooh. Now this is probably going to be riddled with enemies. Oh, 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 hey, hey, oh, oh the lag is killing me. <laughs> All right. So there's a hatch right there I'm going to try to focus on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Can't be that serious. Could go around the outside first. That music. Those sounds. Cargo. Lots and lots of cargo. That pretty much don't do anything. Hmm. That's some scary sounds, ain't it?
Okay, so... I'm pretty deep in here, and... Oop, awesome signal there. Well, crap. I think I'm stuck, people. Should've brought a sea glide with me, huh? Trust me, I know. Trying to get out of here. Swim, man, swim. God, he's swimming slow. All right, whew, that was close. So I didn't really see anything in the wreck that was useful, as far as scanning. I can't really go much deeper. Probably stop right here, because I see some boxes down there. Air's good, and we're not gonna have to go through a maze, so. Nuclear reactor fragment. Not exactly something I want right now. Thank you, thank you. So there's something. It's probably just more that nuclear... Nuclear, nuclear... <laughs> and I've already scanned these membrane trees. They're pretty cool. Pretty sure that I don't think you can pop them or thermal plant. Nice. Still looking for that moon pool though. And uh, I have seen some recent posts that suggest that it may have been removed or accidentally removed, I guess. Can't really see much without a flashlight at night time down here. Whoa. Just one moment, I'll check some things. Just checking if uh, I was missing something from my list, but... And I don't like to go down this deep, but I don't see any other way. These are pretty cool too, but they're not scannable. Good old glowy hoop fish. I don't think I've ever had to go this deep for the moon pool. 
and I'm not seeing any boxes. Here's some boxes. Let's hope we have some time. Alright, where are we at? There we are. Be nicer when we'd be able to get uh, some lightweight tanks. Or maybe some heavy or heavier duty tanks. There's a couple boxes down there. Moon pools are just really needed sooner in the game, as my opinion. There's our first moon pool fragment. Good, good. That is progress, at least. Nuclear reactor, I don't think we need. Maybe we need one more. Yeah. There, I thought it wasn't going to let me in this back in the Seamoth. See if maybe we follow this crevice. It just leads back to the uh, wreck, doesn't it? Too far down. Trying to check some of these side areas. I think that's a part of the biome. <laughs> but hey, there's a box there, so maybe. <laughs> yep, moon pull. Ugh, need four or two more. It's terrible, people. Terrible. It's okay. 
It's okay. <laughs> it's like slow down there. All right, so there's one piece there, something, oh, and another piece over there. Let's hope they're all moon poles. Moon pole. Cyclops pressure compensator, meh. At least we need it, I guess. Uranium. Eureka! Alright. Anything else? Come on. I think maybe one. Try not to get too far from my, uh, Seamoth. Oh, come on. Yay. Scouring the depths, looking for the last moon pool fragment. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, I guess. below here. Moved a little bit. There's something. Please be a moon pool. Thermal plant. Eh. Meh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Show me something good. Moon pull fragment. All right, here we are. Last one. That mission is complete. Let's go ahead. Oh, hey, look. We got an extra one. Just for bonus. Look. Thermal vents. Perfect location for a base. Dehydration. Yeah, yeah. I ain't worried about no dehydration. I got some water all around me. Or something. Looks like a cavern or something right there. Interesting. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. So we have the moon pool, so I'm, I'm going to immediately go back to base. Even though this is a pretty cool spot. We're going to just shoot right back to base. Alright. So this might require a little bit of uh, redesign for the base. But we'll look at putting the moon pool on this side, obviously shooting one of those out but uh, again we might end up also putting another round top up here moving these around you know. so like I said we're gonna go ahead and build a tube And 
And I want to do it from the top because it's just easier that way. I'm not understanding why it wants to go out like that at all. That makes better sense. <laughs> Come on. That's not where I wanted you. Now we can do a corridor that's glass. That would be cool. Just do two glass. Yeah, let's do that instead. So glass it is and glass it shall become. Beautiful. Alright, so now the moon pool. Which is four titanium ingots. Holy crap. And an advanced wiring kit. Wow. They don't get around, but hey, that's okay. Alright, so now we need advanced wiring kit, which is two gold and computer chip. So computer chip has silver ore, table core samples, which I believe I have in my inventory for some reason, and Yeah. So why I have that in there, I don't know. But I uh, pick up the silver ore for that. The two gold. I don't know if I have two gold, but we'll see. What else was required? Four lubricants. That is a lot of creep seeds. I can make the computer chip. Can't make the advanced wiring kit. Which is going to be what we're going to need for the moon pool. Let's go with the lubricant real quick. Actually, just use our crib seeds in here, see what we can use. See if they respawn, I guess. Looks like they have been, like maybe when we... Maybe when we uh, enter the game, maybe they're respawning. Ooh. Used the power, but didn't create anything for us. So let's go to the other place. That would be four. I don't have any extra coupon seeds to drop, so... Just the advanced warrant kit waiting for. Let me go ahead and pop these down right here for all the stuff I need for the moon pool. Pick up the salt. Drop the salt. Some more salt. Drop some copper, some quartz. I know we were gonna make something, but I don't remember what it was. So for this, I'm gonna try to go to the mushroom forest, I guess. Which is, I believe, where we were. Alright. Wada wada. Should probably eat something as well. feel weird taking that, but whatever. Alright. Food. Need uh, the food. There are so many fishes in here. Just gonna take pick up some two peepers. my papers. That's what I call it. Backing up. There we go. Papers have been backed up. Still have two papers in here. Yep. I think we have three, so. Just 
paper and a hoop fish. Oop, if I can grab it. Come here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's all sorts of like broken eggs or something at the bottom. It's funny. Eh, I'll just spade fish. Spade fish is good for the soul, right? I don't know. That's what I'm working on. Probably use one more fish. The spade fish will do. Gotta love having your own, uh, place of uh, food, farm, I guess. There we go. We are up and ready to go. So I do still have that one power cell, so I'm going to go ahead and just go with the flow and use the sea moss. Even though it's almost dead, in fact it's at 1%. That's awesome. Alright. <laughs> Couldn't even get going. Alright, so we're gonna head straight north. See, well, slightly east, but mostly north. Let's see what we can find. Whoa! Probably do a lot of this just swimming. Well, that didn't take long, now did it? <laughs> uh, definitely don't need salt, so... I'm not gonna worry about this salt. interesting egg. It's probably one of those... Ooh. That looks pretty cool. I'm afraid that it might be one of those, uh... Sharks, but all right, now back to what we were doing. Believe the bar and kid supplies are up here. All right, I think we're ready. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Go, go get the supplies for the moon pool. Pretty much where I want it, I guess. Oh shit. We have some weak parts. 
So, let's uh, deconstruct this a bit. Or all the way, either way. <laughs> We need some reinforcements before we can do anything. And we're also going to have to do some repair work, probably. Stinking silly bulkheads. probably where I'll do most of the bulkheads. So, reinforcements, lithium and titanium. Not a big deal, right? Except I don't have any power. Lithium. Titanium. Plus seven. So just in case, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Should have brought us up quite a bit. This guy is just sucking down the power though. It's driving me nuts. Alright, let's redo this. Alright. So normally this has like feet. Fertilize. Why does this have holes in it? That's kind of a cool effect. But no, I did not build this to have holes in it. And look at that. So now we can actually get rid of this uh, hatch, because we really don't need it now. We could also move it if we wanted to. Wish we could put one in here, but I don't think we can. Um, so as far as this side... The heck? You can put a hatch right here? Weird. Can't put it in the top. I just want to see what it looks like here, so... Huh. Huh. Alright. Not what I want, but cool. think. Not bad, right? So the only thing we're going to have to do is uh, work on that power management a little bit more. I'm probably going to install a few, or move the uh, solar panels over to the other side. I'm trying to find solar panels so I can figure out what I need. Two quartz each and two titanium each. What is this? Nuclear reactor, power transmitter, power reactor, thermal plant. So I'm just going to grab another quartz. So I can make one more. And we're just going to put it on the uh, seamoth 
for the moon pole side here. Because I'm not going to really be attaching, at least I can't foresee me attaching a bunch of other stuff on here. Plus it'll free up our ability to uh, expand this, right? doing this I believe we don't really lose much or if any energy by doing it this way. It ain't no thing. Alright. So let's go ahead and jump in real quick. See our power is doing with four. It doesn't seem to be glitching at least, and it seems to be going up. So hopefully that'll help our power issues a little more. We could probably do one more power supply or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. Solar power, solar plant. Because I really just don't want to have to worry about power. Besides when I'm maybe, you know, recharging my CMOS. Swing it around and around. Huh. <laughs> just realized that... Last time I could have just gone in here instead of swimming to the surface. So 250. I think it maxes out at like 300, 350, something like that. But we definitely shouldn't have any power issues until I dock the sea moth now. So let's go dock the sea moth. So the video is probably getting pretty long right about now, with all this different content, but as long as there's things to do in this episode, why should we not uh, keep going, right? Here we go. Oh, oh, spun us around. Hmm, it kind of puts it on the opposite side, but yeah, it works. So wow, it's already charged, probably because I... Um, didn't have my, I had that new power cord in there, or power supply, power, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and drink some water. Alright, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that power, upgrade power, I think, I believe it's only for the Cyclops though. Because it doesn't actually say it, but I'm pretty sure it's only for the Cyclops. Yeah, see? 
doesn't work. So now we can build, I believe we have the ability to do the, ooh, I don't see it. Just because I don't see it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist then. Uh, surprisingly comfy. I may build a chair just so I can uh, sit down and look at my stuff sometime. Wow. So it looks like we don't have the sea moth modification station, which I thought I had already gotten a long time ago. Well, at least that leaves us something for another vid, right? So, what else do we have? Um, I don't know if I can build one, but we'll, we'll check it out. Pull one diamond. battery. Actually, don't have the mushrooms. Do I have the copper? I think I have the copper in there. pieces. cutter. So this will get us supposedly into uh, some of the other wrecks that are not accessible by opening a door or just walking into. And then, so that cuts out, we got wall plants, moon pools, a laser cutter, modification station, I guess, uh, the original, the regular modification station. Uh, we didn't get. And then we have the other modification station for the seed cooled moth that I didn't have. So we'll leave those for next time. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and leave it here. If you have any comments, concerns, or anything about the series, go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, send me a message, whatever you want to do. Otherwise, um, check back next time, and we'll get some more stuff done. This is pretty productive. And till next time, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do to get to the next one. And you guys have a great day.